All right, well, today we are talking about how to face a crisis in our lives and get through it with a victory on the other side. We're going to look in just a minute at, at this great character from the Old Testament named Jehoshaphat and learn from him about he had vic- how he had a victory when he faced a crisis in his life. Now, uh, you, maybe you faced a crisis already in your life. Uh, maybe you haven't yet, but I guarantee at some point you will. I remember one of the first crises I had to deal with was when I was in high school, uh, in, in the 10th grade, we were going on this school field trip, and I had arranged it just so, so I could sit next to this girl who I had a big crush on named Beth. And Beth was this beautiful blonde girl, and I was so in love with her. And, and I'd finally arranged it and told nobody else to sit here, and I set up so she would come and sit next to me on the bus as we rode home from this field trip. And, and she did, and it was perfect. And she's sitting next to me, and I'm, I'm putting my best moves out there, and I'm looking good, and I've got great jokes, I'm having a great time. And, and I decided to drink some Dr. Pepper to, you know, kind of look cool and casual. And then about 20 minutes into the, that ride, I remember I started to feel this little wooziness in my stomach. It was really hot that day, and there was no air conditioning in the bus, and we were kind of winding through the mountains, I remember. And all of a sudden, in the back of this bus, I started to get car sick. And this was bad, because I'm here trying to impress this girl, trying to get her to go out with me, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, what's going to happen? Not good. And yes, I ended up puking on the floor of the bus. Didn't really impress Beth after that uh, very much at all. Now, maybe you've had a more serious crisis in your life. Uh, You know, maybe you are facing some sort of an emotional crisis where you are depressed or you're angry or maybe you're even thinking suicidal thoughts. Maybe you have some sort of an addiction uh, to pornography online or some substance that you started doing. Maybe you've just done something really dumb and you regret it and you know you're going to get in big trouble for it. Maybe you're having a crisis in your family. Maybe you can't get along with your parents or maybe your parents are getting divorced. You know, all of us face these types of things in our life. And the question is, how do we get through this? How do we have victory in the middle of this crisis? Well, again, Jehoshaphat in the Old Testament gives us a great example of how to do that. Let me just kind of tell you the story really quickly. What happens is he's one of the kings of of Israel in the Old Testament, and some really bad guys come to fight against him. These armies come to make war, and they are really bad dudes coming to fight against them. And he's freaked out. But what he does is this. When he's freaked out, when he's overwhelmed, the first thing he does is he, he turns his fear, and he turns toward God. It's the first thing that we need to do is that when we are facing a crisis to know that we can turn toward God. Don't turn inward. Don't don't run away. Don't try to turn to all your buddies for help. Turn to God. That's what Jehoshaphat did. It says that he heard these armies were coming against him and he was freaked out, but he resolved to seek after the Lord. He turned and he prayed and he sought God. And you need to know that's the most important thing you can do when you face a crisis. First thing, don't turn inward. Turn toward God. Well, as Jehoshaphat did that, he turns toward God and he begins to pray. And in his prayer, he demonstrates this incredible trust in God. He says, God, I trust you. And he goes to this prayer and he, in the prayer he talks about all the ways in which God has uh, protected and provided them in the past. And you can read these verses in your, in your small groups this week. Uh, but he, he, he's talking about all these great ways and he says, God, I know that you are a trustworthy God. And God, I know that you've got plans for us and so I, I trust in you. What I love about him is he didn't just turn toward God, he, he really trusted in God. He trusted because he knew that God was a good God, that he was faithful, he was more powerful than he faced, and he also knew that God had made this promise, that he's going to work out everything for his ultimate good. Do you know God made that promise to you? If you're a Christian today, God has made you that promise, that he's going to take everything in your life, every circumstance, and he's going to use it for some good purpose. Now, you might not see that good purpose right now. You might not see it for years. You might not see it until you go to heaven. But God promised that he is working everything out for a purpose. And he wants us to trust in him that he is good. But ultimately what happens next is is he turns to God and Jehoshaphat trusts in God. And God says, now here's what I want you to do. It sounds a little bit crazy. I want you to go out there and I want you to face this army. And he says, I'm going to give you the victory. But I don't want you to get out your swords and your your guns and your F-16s to fight these guys. And what he says, what I want you to do is I want you to send out the choir ahead of you to sing songs of praise, and I'll give you the victory. Now, this sounded crazy, like, seriously, God? You want me to send out the choir to the fight? But that's exactly what God wanted them to do. So Jehoshaphat said, God, I trust in you, and because you have moved me to do this, I'm going to take this action. I'm willing to do that. And he did exactly what what God said. He sends out the choir in front of the army. You know, sometimes God's going to speak to us. Probably not in an audible voice, but if you're a Christian, you have the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you. He's going to move you. You have the Bible, and God speaks to you through the Bible. You have other friends who are Christians, and God can speak to you through them. And when God speaks to you and calls you to do something, you need to be willing to act. 
Because you know what happened to Jehoshaphat? Because he was willing to trust God, he acted. It says that when they went out there and the choirs, the singers go out in front of the army, all of a sudden these armies that were coming against them, they all turned on each other. And they killed each other off. And the end of the story says that the Jehoshaphat's army went out there and everyone was already dead. And they just gathered all the, 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 the plunders of war. And they celebrated and they sang praise to God because God gave them a victory. You know, no matter what crisis you're facing in this life right now, that's the the same things you need to do. You need to turn to God. You need to trust that he is good, that he's got a plan for your life. And then as he moves in your life, you need to be willing to take action. That doesn't mean that everything's always going to turn out rosy. It doesn't mean that that every problem you have is instantly going to go away. But ultimately, you can trust that God has your life in his hands. He's got this under control that there is victory awaiting for you. You might not see it right now. You might not see it for a couple years. Again, you might not see it till heaven. But you can be confident that God is going to give you a victory if you turn to him, if you trust in him, and if you take action.